Hi, Leo. Welcome to September. Um, thanks for your patience with this reading. Trust me, you did not want me to do this reading earlier than now <laughs> because it probably would have been a little bit harsher um, because the growth that you're starting to see from all of the struggle, all of the burdens, everything that you have gone through up, up to today is making you stronger and more stable. Um, you could also have an earth sign in your life too that's kind of helping carry the load for you. But we have the Empress, we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, it could be that the Queen of Pentacles is a burden also, but the growth with the Empress is huge. And the Ten of Wands is saying like, you're almost there. You're so, so close. And if you need, like if you have a friend that's helping you out right now, if you need that little extra nudge to keep going, reach out, reach out to somebody. There really is no shame in saying, I need a little bit of help and a little bit of assistance right now. There really isn't. Um, yeah, so there could be an earth sign that's driving you mad or the earth sign is not doing very well. We'll see that when we clarify. But that nine of swords, um, this energy, this Virgo season energy is in a nine of swords state. Even if things are doing really, really well, you're still going to have arguments. You're still going to have like, there's still going to be like the um, power struggles, right? There's still going to be like lots of power struggles happening. So we have the 10 of pentacles and we have the five of wands. If you're struggling because the 10 of pentacles looks a certain way to you and that's the direction that you're going, but you are trying and trying and trying and trying and nothing is panning out for you. If that's what the struggle is, um, l you need to let the energy flow a little bit and ask for help. Ask for assistance during this time. There's absolutely no reason saying you have to go do all of this alone because doing it alone and getting up there and getting up there and getting up there and trying to, to get to where you want to go by yourself right now is going to be worse than if you humbled yourself and you were like, I just need a little bit of extra help. I need a little bit of extra assistance in this, you know? So, and that nine of swords is kind of something that you got yourself crashed, you know, got yourself into a little bit, right? So there could be a Taurus in your life that's helping you with growing, with growth opportunities. This could be somebody that you work with. If it's not a Taurus, um, it could also be a Virgo, but both of these cards represent Taurus. Um, this could also be that the things that are happening right now that are sort of overburdening you when it comes to societal standards are really teaching you um, how to, oh, what's the word? Be more compassionate. Yeah, there's like this karmic lesson that you're going through. It could be, this earth sign could also be a Capricorn. But the earth energy right now is so, so, so strong. There, it, we're trining with all the stuff that's happening in your second house with work and finances. So there could really be, we're trining that with the stuff that's going on in Taurus with Uranus and the stuff that's going on in Capricorn with Saturn and Pluto. So it could really just be that, the, that you're learning some serious karmic lessons about um, what you're supposed to be doing in order to um, push forward in business and finances and, and partnerships and, and all of that, right? Here's the thing though, is it's not all gonna go the way that it's planned, the way that you're planning it, right? It was already written that you were going to encounter these obstacles before you were even born. You wrote all that out. 
that was like your soul your soul contract right you wrote it all out into existence before you were even born so you were supposed to go through these obstacles and for you to think that well this isn't right i shouldn't be having to go through this this isn't right at all and it doesn't even have to do with work maybe it's just society maybe you're going through a really big growth period and you're being groomed for your next phase in life but because it's uncomfortable and it's really hard you know it's it's not um the easiest path to take doesn't necessarily mean you're not supposed to be going through it when it comes down to it let's see who this queen of pentacles is i feel like this person is very integral in this process that you're going through okay they're here to help you find that stable ground um, not necessarily in a um, like maybe in an environmental way maybe this earth sign is supposed to find help you find some stable ground in your environment as well as within because that four of wands is about being happy and healthy and grounded and stable but you can't have that if you're in a nine of swords state right so having a little bit of help that's that vulnerability factor it's not easy to say i need help but they're there for you and then we have okay this is why you're in a nine of swords state because you cannot figure out what direction to go Aren't you already going a direction? You could also have, no, I feel like this is your energy, the Knight of Swords. I feel like it's your energy. I don't feel like it's another fire sign. I feel like you're restless and that's bringing you anxiety. But when you're restless and struggling, the best way to pull yourself back so that you can look at the big picture and not necessarily see just all the little details that you feel like are keeping you stuck. To look at the bigger picture and to see the bigger picture right now would be to meditate. And I know that that sounds so simple and it's not just about um, turning on some music and getting quiet. Yes, that helps, the music and the quiet, right? But you also need to be listening to your intuition and not your ego. Your intuition is going to send you to the uncomfortable zone, but it's going to be through your highest good. It's going to be about growth. Your ego is going to say, but yes, wouldn't this be much easier to just do it this way? Or wouldn't this, this would benefit you financially if you were to go this direction instead? Um, your ego is going to tell you to do something that is the opposite of helping whoever's trying to help you, right? Like it's going to, it's not going to be, um, so for example, how do I put this? Okay. So like, say somebody is trying to like help you financially. All right. Or they, you work with them and they're like, Hey, if you need a little assistance today, I'm open. I can help you with this, da 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 right? But you're, you're like, I don't know, I could probably do it better. I probably don't need them, blah, 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 blah. And then there's something that comes along where what their idea was or what they wanted to do to help you would make you look really good. That would be your ego. Like you taking it and taking credit for it. That would be your ego talking. Those are the kind of opportunities that can boost you in your life, but it's your ego, and then you have to deal with the karmic repercussions of pulling the rug out from under somebody else. And I'm not saying that that's what's happening. I'm saying you have a choice right now, and that's kind of where you're, you're going back and forth. You're like, do I do it the right way, or do I do it the harder way, or do I do it the, the easy way? The right way is more uncomfortable and harder, but the easy way. I'm going to stop over explaining myself. It's Virgo season. I knew I was going to over explain myself in readings. It's kind of ridiculous. So the Ten of Pentacles. See, the thing is, is I feel like this Ten of Pentacles already exists. Like you're already in the Ten of Pentacles, but are you seeing it as such 
because, um, yeah, see, I don't feel like you're even no recognizing or seeing, because what is the Ten of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles, it can either be having all of the material things around you all the time and feeling really good about having all the material things, or you're, you feel good on the inside, regardless of what's happening on the outside. You could have the crappiest job in the world and live in a shack and still be a happy person. It's, it's what you choose to do with that, right? You can still be content and stable and grounded and happy, even if you don't have all the luxuries and all the riches. And I feel like you're not necessarily seeing that. Or you're seeing everything is chaos and everything is falling apart around you, and you're not necessarily seeing where you are stable. And it's going to make you tense. It's going to make you want to fight. Let's see this five of wands. Yeah. And so instead of fighting with other people right now, Leo, assert your boundaries. Because you have far better things to look for in the future. Seven of wands on the five of wands. Just put your healthy boundaries up, assert your boundaries, and allow yourself to see the future for what it is. There's something much better, and open up and talk about it, right? Page of Wands and the Three of Wands. Talk about what you want. When you put your future plans into an optimistic outlook or an optimistic discussion or what, what have you, right? When you put your plans into words and then into motion, everything seems much clearer. Things are so much more open and so much, it, it's just like brighter, a lot brighter. Um, and you can see things clearly. You can see where you're manifesting things. Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, and the Magician. A lot of the things that you're manifesting are happening in your dream space. Are you manifesting good things? Or are you manifesting negative things? Because the universe is trying to hand you a gift, an opportunity this month. And I feel like in order for you to get this opportunity, you sort of need to take a time out and get some healing. That Four of Swords very interesting. I feel like there's some healing that needs to happen in order for you to manifest more. And why? Because right now you're focusing on the negative when there's so much more positive that's coming in. And some of it might, you might have to take a risk. You might have to go out on a limb. You might have to, with the fool here, allow yourself to jump into things that you wouldn't normally jump into or do things that you wouldn't normally do or like assert yourself in ways that you wouldn't normally I mean a Leo not asserting themselves is would be an interesting concept to me but it's possible like say you're a Leo moon sign and you don't necessarily assert yourself you just have a really big heart and everybody stomps all over it now is your opportunity to assert your independence and you don't have to tell everybody. You don't have to say a word to anybody. You can assert your independence and do what you need to do and not say a word to anybody. Totally possible. And highly recommended for you to do it that way. I'm just saying, sometimes people don't need to know your business. Most of the time people don't need to know your business. Just do your thing. The lessons are real. They're very heavy. It's not the most fun season. Virgo season, it's like we have a lot of fun during your season. We hit Virgo season. Everybody has to get serious. And then things start to balance out again during Libra season. But this chunk of the year, it's like, it's, it's hard. It's difficult. This is not an easy season to get through. Especially for, you know, you guys were having so much fun. You were rolling, having fun, having a really good time, and all of a sudden responsibility 
boom. And I'm not saying you guys aren't normally responsible. You can have fun and be responsible, but in your season, it's easier to do both. And now in Virgo season, it's like, I hope you had fun during Leo season. Now it's time to get real and real responsible. Like beat yourself up kind of responsibility. And that's not what I, I don't want you to beat yourself up. I want you to do the opposite. I want you to allow yourself to um, see all of like everything that you've accomplished. And if you need a little bit of a boost or some attention during Virgo season, you got to assert yourself, put yourself out there. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you again so much for being patient. Um, 20% off any readings. I know we just did your season, but if this, um, has been, I know we just did like your birthday stuff, but if this has been a rough season for you, you can get a 30 minute reading for $60. You can get a one question reading. That's 10 minutes for $30. Such cheap readings right now. Get them while you can. The wait isn't very long. It's like one and a half weeks. So I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Oh, and my t-shirts are also 20% off with the coffee mugs are 20% off. Go to my website under merchandise and you'll find them there. I love you. Bye.